Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ate. Good morning, po. Good morning, po. Good morning. The program will start in five minutes, po. So make yourself comfortable. If you have a good connection, sana po meron tayong lahat ng good connection for this morning for explicit sharing of ideas. And after the webinar, we may request all the participants to please uh, uh, fill in the post-webinar survey form. Po. Thank you. Okay po, let's officially start the program with a prayer to be led by Ms. Catherine Kabudsan, followed by the Philippine National Anthem. Let us bow our head and put ourselves. Let us bow our head and put ourselves in the holiness of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear God, Thank you for all the blessings you bestowed upon us. We are truly grateful for them. Thank you for allowing us today to meet and share our knowledge and time with one another in this seminar. May you extend your divine wisdom to our speakers so that he will be able to impart effectively his God-given knowledge to all of us. May he be blessed as he continues to bring his expertise to people who need them and also bless all the committees in charge that they may be able to fulfill their tasks and responsibility we ask this in the name of jesus christ our lord and savior amen mga kababayan ang pambansang awit ng pilipinas Good morning. Good morning po sa lahat ng ating attendees. Welcome Ayan. po sa ating webinar. So, sana po ay nakapagod po ang lahat. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So, partner, nakapagod ka po. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, at sana partner, nakaligo na rin sila, no? Yes, tama ka dyan, partner. Nice one. At siyempre, kapag alam na natin kung paano i-manage ang ating time, ang ating next guest speaker naman, 
ay magpapaliwanag kung ano ba yung financial literacy. Tuturoan niya tayo about side hustles and syempre passive income. But before we go on to our main purpose and highlight of this webinar, it us her first from our engineering department head, Dr. Gerbin Demet. So good morning to every one of you. So welcome to the General Assembly and of course the webinar series for Computer Engineering Department. So I would just like to welcome to all of you here for this activity. So I would just like to thank first to our scope officers, to the Faculty of Engineering, and to other guests, participants, and resource speakers for this particular webinar, a pleasant morning to all of you. So this webinar is not only intended for having a general assembly, but also in order to promote camaraderie to our students. The same manner, despite we are experiencing pandemic during this time, we should be able actually to give information or knowledge to make our students updated to the current trends in terms of technology. I'm actually welcoming you for this particular event because it will be a great um, and helpful tool for all of us to make ourselves updated to the different trends in terms of technology nowadays. Thank you so much for participating also for this particular event. This will be not be possible without your cooperations. That's why uh, just sit back and relax and enjoy the different webinar series that we actually be given to all of you this particular time. So have a nice day to everyone and God bless to us. Salamat po, Sir Kiel, for that ano, message po. And nagpadala din po ng ano, um, inspirational message sa atin si Dr. Camigla, the Vice President for Student Affairs and Student Services. Uh, Academic Affairs and Student Services, sorry. So let me share to you. I would like to welcome everyone to the new normal. Alam nyo, maraming pagbabago ang binigay sa atin ng pandemya ito. Mula sa kabuhayan at pati na rin sa kung paano tayo makikisalamuha. Lahat tayo ay binago ng COVID-19 pandemic. So balit sa isang banda, ay may naidulot din naman itong magandang aral para sa ating lahat. Katulad ng pagpapahalaga sa pamilya, sa kung ano ang meron at iniingatan natin. Sa nakalipas sa sampung buwan, pinatunayan natin ang tatag ng mga Pilipino. Hindi natin inaasahan ang bilis ng mga pangyayari na halos lahat ay cashless na na kung gusto mong kumain ay magpa-deliver ka kung magbabayad ka ng bills ay pwede na online shopping, banking at kung ano-ano pa pero alam nyo lahat ng yan ay napaghandaan na ng Trimex Colleges mula sa online payment, enrollment, records and even the conduct of classes at sa hapong ito, tayo ay magiging bahagi ng isang mahalagang gawain handa para lamang sa atin. Namnamin ang bawat salita at bawat um, minuto at nawa ay matuto tayo. Maraming salamat at magandang araw sa ating lahat. Okay, so yun po ang ating Vice President for Student uh, academic Affairs and Student uh, Services, si Dr. Ano, Rito Camigla Jr. Thank you po, Sir Rito, sa inyo pong inspirational message. Tunay nga po na talagang ngayon po, paulit-ulit at saka hindi po halos matapos-tapos ang pandemic, ang ating ECQ, yun nga pong pinagbibiroan na po na mapupunta na po sa barbecue at kamote queue. So, Kaya po napili po namin ngayon yung mga topics na paano ba natin i-manage yung ating time dahil talagang nagbago. From nakakagala tayo ng malaya at parang feeling natin ay limitless na tayo to lagi, tila ba tayo'y kinukulong na sa apat na sulok ng opisina or ng ating bahay. So without further ado, let me introduce to you our first Guest speaker. 
our first webinar speaker is Professor Martin Bonifacio. He is popularly known as Dean Martin because he was a former dean of our Lady of Assumption College. He is a mentor, a trainer, an educator, and a professor in both undergraduate and graduate studies for almost 13 years in different colleges and universities. He is a sought after speaker in several seminars and other speaking engagements in the corporate industries. Miss Emmy. He is also a graduate of Master in Management in Public Administration, completed the Doctor of Business Administration, and now pursuing another doctorate program, which is Doctor in Psychology, major in Industrial Psychology at the Far Eastern University, Manila, because he graduated with an international diploma for Dynamic Education for English Proficiency. He, has to, he was chosen to be one of the lecturers and trainers of all the valedictorians in Metro Manila in 2009 and featured in the Philippine Daily Inquirer and Manila Bulletin. He was also highlighted in the school paper quoted to be a man with a humblest heart but assertive mind. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Bonifacio is currently a human resource practitioner and currently a compliance manager of an Australian company world renowned for innovation in optical and fiber termination, distribution and management systems. And that is the Warren and Brown technology located in the Eve Binyan Laguna for 10 years. To wrap it up, what is more interesting for you now to know is that Professor Benifacio is also a part-time professor of our dear Trimax colleges. Ang daming time ni Sir talaga, so marami siyang ma-share sa atin today para mag-manage ng ating time. So ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Professor Martin Bonifacio. Hello, good morning everyone. Everyone could hear me? Yes sir, good morning okay, Paul. Good. Yes sir, okay, good, good morning. morning everyone. Nice to see you again. Okay, by the way, I just want to say good morning, everyone, and thank you for the invitation, especially for the Trimix Colleges, specifically the engineering department. I would like to say also uh, thank you to uh, Sir Jimesa and uh, Dr. Kamigla. Okay, maraming maraming salamat. This time, I'm going to share to you my presentation so that we'll be able to start up the specific topic that I'm going to share to you today. Okay, ready na po tayong lahat, ha? Yes, Paul. Okay. Can you see now? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, can you see now my presentation? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. okay. Yes, sir. Maganda. Okay. Mabuti naman. So today we will be discussing, I'm going to share to you about the time, the stress, and productivity management. This is very timely for all of us, especially for those people, estudiante, empleado, even the parents who are actually staying at home. So we're able to manage the, our time, our stresses, in order for us to be productive even we are being brought by this upheaval pandemic that we are suffering now. So isang malaking bagay kung dapat natin itong malaman at dapat natin itong pag-aralin in a way. Because not all these things could be only based on what we experience about. Kailangan pa rin natin malaman kung ano ba talaga dapat ang ating gagawin. But anyway, before I'm going to tell you directly for this, I just want to assess yourself by asking which one are you? Isang mahalagang bagay kung dapat i-assess natin ang sarili natin. Sino pa tayo sa ganitong pagtitilian? This is a very common for us to uh, understand who we are by presenting the two things. Which are we? Do we belong to a not or we belong to a not? So ang ibig lang naman sabihin po nito, 
i-assess natin ang sarili natin. Are we really weighing or heading to the right path? Or we are being disturbed by any obstacles, the reason why all our dreams couldn't even achieve. Diyan po ang dapat natin tindihin. Kaya natin natawag na not. Kasi if we're going to base, pag sabi natin not, it is an intentional complication. Ha? Talagang sinadya siyang ginawa. Okay, para mabuo siya at mapatibay. If you could remember, this is what we call the ship, um, ship rigging. The ship rigging, this is actually the core. This is the rope. Kung saan ang ship ay kailangan natin. Ano? Itali para hindi makawala. But if we're going to make tally of this one, you have to make sure na kailangan hindi siya basta-basta matitinag o matatanggal. But the moment that you are going to untangle it, kailangan hindi ka mahirapan. So easier for you to untangle the knot. Sa madaling salita, it is scientifically done. Ibig sabihin, pinag-aralan siya. Kaya ang isang bagay ay nagiging organisado. So if we're going to assess ourselves that we are a knot, ito ay hindi dapat. If you could see the cord being tangled and you don't know how to untangle it, napakahirap po nun. So kailangan po malaman natin what is the starting point kung bakit ito nangyayari. So this kind of uh, realization that I'm trying to assess for you is for you also to find out na andun na ba kayo na ginagawa nyo ang mga bagay in a very complicated way but in a scientific approach or in a very good procedure or process. Una, andun pa rin tayo sa sige lang, gawin lang natin ito. Okay lang, bahala na. Pag problema na, sa solution na nalang natin. So, kung alin na kayo dun sa dalawa, still, we will be needing to learn everything from time to time about how we're going to manage everything. Okay, naintindihan po ba? Okay, so uh, the next here is, I borrow this from Martha Ostens. Sabi niya dito, what one had to go back to the beginning of things, always. Trace the thread of life, find the knot, untangle it. May mga bagay talaga sa atin na we have to forget it. Katulad ng ex nyo. I know, I'm just kidding. Ang ibig sabihin, may mga bagay talaga na dapat nating balikan. If this thing ay palagi pa tayong iniistorbo, even we are now facing to different path. Ito yung bagay na kailangan nating balikan, ayusin para tayo ay makawala sa bagay na ito. Sabi nga natin, kailangan tapusin ng maayos ang isang bagay para if we're going to move on, everything would be good or would be um, successful the time comes. Okay. So, ang ibig ko lamang sabihin dito, pag medyo nahihirap, ta nahihirapan tayo sa isang bagay, balikan natin ang kadahilanan. What are the primary reasons why even we keep or trying harder ourselves to achieve one thing or all our dreams, our objectives, our goals, but still we fail to do so. Dahil po, may mga bagay na hindi tayo makawala. Okay. So alam niyo po ba, every time I do give a particular seminar like this, and especially if you are dealing about the management, I will never forget to discuss what management is all about. Magsistudyante ko man sa si ibang mga seminars, palagi ko itong sinishare to educate everyone. Not all of the time we are able to get the definition of one important word from the book or from the Google, but also coming from our own experiences. To give a little bit background of this, I want to share to you what management is all about. Ito, familiar ito sa atin. Familiar for many. But sometimes, kung alin yung alam na alam natin, nakakalimutan natin ang halaga nito. Kung alin ang naandyan lagi sa atin, sometimes we forget to actually perform it the way it should be. So if I will say management, if you could see here, this is my own definition 
I've been teaching for management for almost 13 years, and I found out that this, uh, these things are really important. Okay, the first one that you could see here, we're going to take a dissect. Kailangan natin iwa-iwain. Ano nga ba ang management? Bago pa natin pag-usapan yung stress na yan, bago pa natin pag-usapan yung time na yan, yung productivity na yan. We would not be able to understand it without understanding first what management is. Uh, I mean, what management is. Okay po, ha? So, the first one that we are able to get from this, okay, can I, um, I, I think I should have to... Um, slideshow so i could um okay the first one that you could see here is the word man mabilisan lang po ito man mean to say it's all about me myself and i and everything that we do and every decision that we have to do is all about ourselves to make decision do not allow that other people will make decision in behalf of you because that kind of responsibility corresponds with the accountability. Sa so, ibig po bang sabihin, pag ang isang tao mag para sa buhay mo, pag nagka-problema, sa tingin mo, siya kaya ang magsasuffer ng accountability? Or is it you? So, mean to say in management, it is only one way of telling us no, no matter what it is, we need other people there. We need our pieces of advice. We need other things for, let's say, a point of, um, sabi na natin nga mga abiso para sa atin. But at the end of the day, it is me, myself, and I will make a decision. It could be a simple decision. It could be a massive decision. Or it could be the hardest decision. Okay, so man is a singular form of man. It's about me, myself, and I. Okay, so the next word that we will be getting from here is all about the age. Take a look now. We are suffering the pandemic brought by this COVID-19. If we're not going to indulge this, the essence of management, this age, which is the pandemic, the generation probably, the technology probably, do na tayo, wag na tayo makawala, pakawala pa doon sa ating pandemya ngayon. How we are going to handle this? How we are going to face this? How we are going to fight this pandemic? What are our responsibilities if we are not going to consider what problem that really exists every now and then? The age in management preparing what is really happening now, this generation, and even this kind of what we call technological advancement, like this webinar that we are conducting seminar through online. This is part of management called age that we should have to adopt. I know, you know what, the last time, uh, some of the teachers actually called me attention of telling me, Sir, I think I should not go, um, I mean, um, teaching this time. It's because I don't know how to make use of the computer. I don't know how to make use the online session. So that point of time, they are suffering stresses. They don't even know, especially those people or professors or teachers, na medyo may kairada na, no? may, uh, I mean, may meron ng, uh, not too old, but uh, alam na natin, aging na. Okay, so uh, they don't want to actually accept the fact that they should have to discuss online. But the only answer that we could give to them is adaptability. The adaptability is to embrace the reality of today. Because if we're not going to embrace this, we cannot get away from this or even conquer, conquer whatever the problems that we are facing today. Okay. So as you can see in here, do not forget the system, which is to manage. Why is it called to be scientific in approach? Because manage is a process. The time management should have the process on that. Stress management, there is a process on that. There are the methods. There are procedures that we need to do, but based on the proper observation, proper uh, experimentation and studies, that's the reason why in management, we call this a sort of what we call scientific approach. 
pag nag-decide po kayo sa isang bagay na hindi naaayon sa tamang proseso, you are forgetting the why, the word manage. Kasi sa management, it is being emphasized to us that if we're going to make a decision, we have to manage it the way it should be based on scientific approaches and also experiences in a way, but in a logical manner. Ibig sabihin, ito ay pinag-aralan. Isa pa po sa tatawag natin management, if we are going to apply the management, if we are going to embrace the management, we will be getting here the so-called gem. Alam po natin, ha? alam naman natin na ang gem ay isang uri o precious stone. But what really um, symbolizing it, there is a gem in management. The gem in management that we are saying is that it could be the money that we are talking with. It could also be the behavior, the attitude that we are into. Kasi po, kaya po tayo kailangan maayos ang ating attitude, ang ating behavior para sa lahat ng bagay na ating inaasam ay makuha natin nun. Gem in a way that even inside of the organization, we need people to work with us with good attitude. If these people will work in our parameter at hindi natin maintindihan ang pag-ukali natin, do you think we will be getting or we will be achieving our goals? Sa nyo, I know you will say no. Okay, so hindi natin basa-basa yun because ang itaong ito na minsan ay hindi natin maintindihan could actually be a someone considered to be a barrier to the process, to the program, to the project that we are trying to execute. Kaya nga po sa mga human resources personnel or let's say practitioner, they are after, well, if not all, uh, if not all, most of the HR practitioner now are actually hiring people. Not it's because they are totally skilled when it comes to hard skills but because they are having a good attitude. Because good attitude will actually stay longer once he or she is being hired compared to those skilled ones that if he's not happy anymore, in doing so, he could automatically keep away from the organization. So mas madali po ang empleyado pag maayos ang pag-ugali. So that's the gem that we are going to protect here. Pag-ugali, Dahil sa pag-ugali na yun, we're able to achieve whatever our desire goes and then the profit will come into us. Okay. Another one here. Kanina nabanggit ko, man is a singular form. Man now is a plural form. No man is an island. Palagi natin tatandaan yun. Tayo man ang mag sa sarili natin. But we need people around us to help us to give us pieces of advice. Always there to give us moral support. To help us at work, at home, at kahit na po sa school. Teachers are always there to help the students. To educate them. Even students is always there also, or are always there also for the teachers. Because in some other way around, the students are also teachers, teaching their teachers for some other aspect, because we're not perfect. Okay, so what I'm trying to say, even we're going to make our decision by ourselves, we need consultancies, advice coming from the people around, from our parents, from our friends, in order to make our decision worthwhile. Yan lang po ang pinaka-importante doon. And all these things will never possible without this remaining letter, which is letter T, stands for task. Sa bawat kong gagawin natin, katulad po nito na ginagawa natin, there's always a task that we should know first before we're going to start up of solving problems, of doing things. Dapat alam natin why I should have to actually put my headphone on it's because I want to hear your questions probably or your feedback probably. The reason why you're attending the seminar is because you want to learn something. 
you want to actually you are enjoying let's say going to the school it's because you want to finish your schooling those are tasks that without which all of this would not be possible so anyway that is my explanation my own explanation why we should have to make this management as a form of essential in our lives because no matter what it is wherever we go management must be taken by us okay po ba? Naintindan po ba yan? okay uh, i did not get it from any other books that is my own concept it's because i want to share it as an applied to you as you are now the listeners of this webinar. Okay. So, eto po talaga. Dito na tayo patutungo sa ating primary topic. Do you think you can manage your time? Or time is money? Or the biggest time wasters are phone calls, visitors, meetings, and rush jobs? Estorbo ba ito talaga sa ating mga ginagawa? So as much as possible, I want to hear from you. Who could say that you can manage your time? From the people now, can you please unmute and tell me? Assure to me that you can manage your time, please. Anyone from the attendees? Uh, can can I ask um, anyone from from the listener from the watchers now? Anyone from you who could say that I can manage my time, or could say time is really a money, or could say talagang uh, anyway, anyone? Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. You can manage your time. Sir. Yes. Time is really a money. But yeah. I I cannot uh I cannot tell that I can manage my time. Wow, wow, that's really good. Okay. Uh let's find out later on how could actually assess that kind of understanding you have. Thank you for that. Okay, what about time is money? Another one. Ah, I think. Oh, Jenny Dishar. I can see your name here. I have to unmute you. So do you think you can uh, time is money? Mukayatang pa na. Kahit na sino po pwedeng sumagot. Hello, Sir Martin. Oh, no. Time is not money okay so let's find out kung bakit ganun. because there are some really uh, there are some understanding okay probably there are reasons behind it okay let's find out let's proceed now thank you for that okay what is time management sabi dito okay time management hindi ko na mabasa no kasi uh Okay, time management is the process of planning, exercising conscious control of time spent on specific activities. It is how you're going to make a plan. It is how you're going to take the process, how to exercise it. And do not forget the time management always with the effectiveness, efficiency, and productivity. But I just want to correct it. Efficiency should go first, followed by the effectiveness so that the productivity is there. If I will say efficiency, yung tanong ko sa inyo kanina, that I could really manage my time or, or not, if you are not confident enough, so therefore, you are not efficient in that aspect, you need to improve it. If I will say effectiveness, this is in fact a result in other aspect that because of the plan you did, you are able to make your dream realized. Ibig sabihin, ang isang bagay na gusto mo mangyari, dahil alam mo naman, ikaw ay magaling, magaling ka magplano, you are a good planner, alam mo naman na, na you are confident enough, but sometimes, you know, we fail. Kaya doon po pumapasok yung effectiveness. It's because 
the effectiveness is the feedback of the people who will be benefiting about your plan. And of course, if it is not effective, there is no productivity. Tindan nyo ha, kahit gaano kagaling ang isang tao, pag hindi naging pabor sa ang resulta nito sa mga nasasakupan, hindi ka magkakaroon o hindi ka magiging produktibo. Katulad na lamang ko ngayon, I know myself, I am efficient because of my experiences. But I am not sure if I am effective. Because all of you, all you could say after this, if you learn something, if you realize something after my talk, you could say that I learned from Sir Martin and that's what we call effectiveness. So the effectiveness of this discussion will be based or will be coming from you, the watcher and the listeners. And if that will happen, that's what we call productivity after. So time management in a way that we have to start up by means of planning. And after planning, we have to exercise it with our own control. It is us to control our time. Okay, so okay. the next one that we have here is okay. You might ask me what time management is all about. You are going to ask me what is time management skill? Well, definitely, I could only say that if you properly accomplish your tasks efficiently. That's a good result of what time management skill is. Pag marunong ka, gumamit ng kalendaryo. Pag marunong ka, sumunod ng kalendaryo mo. That is what we call management skill. If you keep on saying to yourself, bahala na, sige lang, okay lang yan. Therefore, there is something wrong with your management skill. If you're going to ask me why our time management skill is important, so clear. Because we have objectives, we have goals that we're going to achieve. If we're not going to do this time management, we have only 1% of achieving those things. So therefore, you have to exercise time management in order to achieve all those things you need or you desire to have or achieve. Yan po ang kanportantihan ng skill management. Remember, the skill management is a soft skill to whether you are a student, you are an applicant, you are an employee already. Soft skill like time management is very important to you because this is a transferable skill. If I will say transferable skill, kahit saan ka ilagay, kahit anong posisyon, anong trabaho, saan ka man, you could literally perform the time management. It is far different. Pardon for the example, pardon for the reference. Aside from the, I mean, compared to the hard skill, magaling ka sa isang bagay, pero pag linipat ka sa ibang trabaho, ay hindi mo na mapiperform. It's because the hard skill, not all the time, a transferable skill, not all the time. But again, I am not saying that hard skill is bad because hard skill is also a skill that we need. Okay, so how can you improve your time management skills? Okay, ito yung palaging tinatanong takin. Sir, there's actually a problem with my time management skill. Always go back. Always go back for the marketing students, for the management student. Always go back to what we call the smart. Lagi lang yun. That's the techniques. Huwag na tayong lalayo. Always remember the smart thing. You know what? You have to be specific in all things that you are dealing with. And you have to remember that everything is measurable. Kailangan alam na alam mo yun. Kailangan uh, you are confident that you're able to achieve it. No? Because that's what we call achievable after this one. And it must be relevant to you. Okay? Kailangan talaga, may kahalagahan sa'yo yun. Ano ba talaga ang uh, kaimportansihan sa, sa'yo sa bagay na yun? Because you cannot actually reach that one pag wala siyang, you know, kahalagahan sa buhay mo. And it's because time management, there's a time bound that we need to do. 
kailangan we have to meet it. That merang oras tayo kung kailan natin ito gagawin. I know we're not perfect. I know that in certain cases, we do lapses. Okay. But the point here is not to become literally perfect, but rather to lessen these things na pag hindi natin ginawa, hindi natin subukan, hindi natin i-take into progress, we will be put into this. We will be hooked into this. Hindi tayo asenso, hindi tayo mag-move. It's because we believe that we're safe. Okay. And another one, if I could remember the 34th president, uh, Dwight, also explained to us the so-called the four uh, the four quadrants. Have you uh, are you familiar with the four quadrants? And this one could be like uh, the the argent, but not argent. Okay, if it is argent, ibig sabihin kailangan gawin mo na agad siya. Okay, but um, if it's not argent and important, okay. So if argent is important, the first quadrant, we have to do it right away. Dapat priority natin yan. Ha? Pag ang isang bagay na gusto natin gawin ay importante at lalo pa ito ay urgent, kailangan natin gawin, ito ang top priority natin na gawin agad natin. Do not waste your time. Okay. So that's your priority. And the second of your priority is the second box. And this is not really urgent but important. Or tawag natin, you have to schedule. Kasi hindi naman talaga siya urgent. Importante siya. So we have to schedule it. We have to make use of the calendar and we have to schedule. For example, meeting, that's not urgent. If it's not emergency meeting, let's say webinar, this is scheduled. So it's not really urgent when I was invited, but it's important. So I have to make use of the scheduling process. Not urgent, but important. But the other way around, the other box could be urgent, but not important. So may may bagay na uh, etong tinatawag natin na we have to delegate. Okay, so sige. Itong bagay na ito ay pwede maitulong na sa atin ng ating kapatid. Okay? So, hindi siya important. Ay, siya ay uh, urgent, pero hindi importante. Okay, uh, bunso, ikaw na ang gumawa niyan. Okay? You could delegate it. Okay, and the other one, the last one, eto ang dapat hindi na natin pagkabalahan. Hindi na importante, hindi na urgent, pero bakit ito ang paulit-ulit natin ginagawa? Why is it that this kind of the fourth one ay palaging nangyayari sa atin? Kaya tayo ay naiiwan sa ere because we keep on solving problems that we, need, we, we don't need to solve anyway. Okay, so the techniques would be you have to uh, do, first, uh, do first, you have to schedule, you have to delegate, and the last one is eliminate. Ulitin ko ha, the technique would be do first, pag importante at urgent siya. Do the scheduling, pag siya ay hindi urgent pero importante. Pangatlo, do the delegation, if it is urgent, but not important. But eliminate. Tanggalin ito. Pag hindi naman po ito importante at hindi naman urgent na kailangan natin gawin. So, this quad is very effective. Mr. Dwight, I think he is the 34th president who um, I was able to, to read also in the seven habits or eight habits also included by Stephen Covey. So you have to read that because that's also very important. Because if I'm going to elaborate here, it's time consuming. Anyway, I wouldn't be able to discuss. Okay, so uh, now we have to say that you can manage time. Kanina yung tinanong ko. Time is money. The biggest time wasters, you are all right. This is only a myth. Ito ay paniniwala lamang, pero walang katotohanan. You cannot manage time. You can only manage what you can control. Time is not really money because you can create money more even without time. Time is life. Okay. And that way, na, time is not necessarily money because time is life. Buong buhay natin gagawin at kailangan gawin ito. Kailangan natin itong palaging dalhin because time is life. And the last one, the biggest time wasters daw are phone calls, visitors, meetings, and rice, uh, I mean, rush jobs. Oh my goodness. In today's generation, 
where phone is much needed for a faster and easier way to communicate important details. Visitors and meetings that we need to discuss to brainstorm is much important and to rush jobs because of some deadlines that we need to. These are part of time management. It is not really a waste of time management. So what I'm trying to say, keep a way that you can manage your time. Keep a way that time is money. Keep a way that all these are disturbances like phone calls and the meetings. Because again, to wrap up, you can manage your time. No, you can control what you can control. And that's what we call the manage, managing your time. Time is money. You can create more money. So time is life. And this one is all about part of our existence, which is the use of, or the usage of the gadgets today. Okay. So we already corrected the myths a while ago na kailangan tandaan po natin yun. For the stress management, oh, ito na tayo, ano? So we are suffering because of the pandemic, because of the assignments, because of the examinations, because of the submissions. Oh my God, now we're going to solve this. Paano natin ito gagawin? How could we actually fix these things? So yan po ang problema natin. Maybe because sometimes we literally not knowledgeable to what is stress management is all about. Sometimes an indicator is not really a point of stress. We just actually treat it as sort of stress, but actually it's not. And that is being defined this way. Stress is not all the time negative. I'm going to reiterate. Kadalasan kasi, pag narinig natin ang salitang stress, negatibo na tayo. No! In a psychological aspect, and a medical aspect, this is not all the time a negative one. Because we have this one, the positive stress that we call eustress. If we will say eustress, meaning io, that is a positive one. Okay, could you feel, let's say you experience sometimes. Okay, my goodness, my family is arriving, my family is coming. I'm going to prepare my house. I'm going to put welcome here. And you are feeling stressed na. Na stress ako because mi pa ito tapos darapin ng magulang ko. For about 10 years from abroad and they're arriving tomorrow. I'm not yet done of decorating the house. And you could feel the stress there. But that's not the stress that you need. That is a you stress. You are being, that is the positive stress because you are excited to what will gonna happen. So it's good thing for us to feel the stress. Ano? Kailangan po tayo dun because we have this hormone in our body. The hormone in our body we call cortisol. That cortisol must be functional in our body. Ah, pero although kailangan mabawasan yun, pag nabawasan yun, uh, masikwit yon, okay, para maiwas yung stresses natin. Pero may mga bagay sa katawan natin na kailangan talaga ay ma-stress ng konti. Or else, that will cause boredom. Kaya tayo nagiging moody from time to time. The moody, one type of person, it's because hindi nagpa-function yung stress natin. If we're going to do the exercise, we're stressing ourselves, that's true. But look, exercise is good for us, for our health. Okay? So if we're going to actually, uh, let's say, take um, uh, a yoga in a way, so it's also in a way that uh, you may feel a sort of the muscle stresses, yung mga muscle natin may stress, but a good point, kailangan stress natin yan so that we'd be able to maximize the usage of this part in our body. Okay. So if, for example, if we're, um, let's say, oh, tomorrow I am going to, uh, let's say, uh, take a competition, Ano? Uh, a debate competition. Tapos nag-aral ka, nag-research nag ka. You know what? In other way around, you could say it, it's just a stress Because you're going to have the debate competition tomorrow. And after that, and that's it. That's the end of everything. So hindi yun. Hindi yung literal talaga na tatawag ng stress compared to what we call distress. So distress is a negative distress. Okay, ha? Yung misinterpretation natin sa si stress, ha? 
Sabihin natin na stress na naman ako. Sumakit ang ulo ko. Okay. Yun pala yung stress yun that corresponds with the happiness. But what you are trying to say sometimes is distress, meaning it's the negative distress. Eto na yun. Na from time to time, bumabalik at bumabalik yung bigat sa sarili mo. Paulit-ulit na nangyayari, konti lang na-stress ka na. Konting galaw lang na-stress ka na. Nagagalit ka na. So, there's something wrong with that. We're in. If it is chronic or acute stress, we need psychologists to assist us. So these are the skilled individuals who could actually help us. Okay? So, um, all we need to do is just to identify ourselves and assess ourselves. If it's just a new stress, so it's just easier for us to solve. Okay? If it's stress, there's something, something that we need to take it seriously in order to solve it in a way. Pero, to whether it is new stress or distress, there are things that advise to us to do. Okay. Sabi natin, distress management involves controlling and reducing the tension. Tinan nyo? Reducing and controlling the tension. Ito ay lagi magsisimul sa atin, sa sarili lamang natin, hindi galing sa iba. Because only us could control it. Only us could reduce it. If we're not going to accept that we are suffering this, we cannot move on. We cannot even quit this. Kailang we have to embrace it and we have to find solution in answering this. Because it can be controlled, it can be reduced. Not by anyone else, but ourselves. There are only people who could help us. We always have the ability to choose our response to stress. But the ability to choose or to respond to stress is to fight these stresses, to ease these stresses with our positive mind, positive energy, positive thoughts and exercises. Those are the best options that we should have to take. Okay, so now I'm going to share this to you. What, what are the causes of stresses? Okay, when I took a research, maraming binibigay talaga the causes. But this good thing, sa bagay sa, sa I mean, slide it, it's because it's sum up with everything. The life situations, Cause or causes our stress. Life situations about the school demands, we have the family problems, we have the friends, we have the people who keep on bullying us. Life situation that is stressful. Okay? And environmental stresses as well. Yung ating kapit bahay. Kahit alas dosi na ng gabi, kanta na kanta pa, napakalakas pa ng sounds. So it's very stressing. And we have also the natural calamity or disaster. Bagyo, lindol, di ba nagbibigay siya ng stress sa atin? And also the cognitive stressors. Pag may hina ang ating self-esteem, the first thing that will function is our mind. Kahit the confidence na nararamdaman natin, iniisip natin yan, that will actually cause stress. And also our personal behavior. Anong personal behavior? Maling gawain. Safe na gawain. Do not want to embrace the technology of today, ayaw matuto. That is our personal behavior. So those things, life situation, environmental stressors, biological, cognitive, personal behavior are the causes of stress. At hindi tayo tatantangan nito. Hindi tayo lalayuan nito. So do not tell me that these stresses ay tatakuan tayo. Patuloy na patuloy itong lalapit sa atin. The reason why we have to equip ourselves with this stress management in order to make it as our armor, pananggalang para labanan ang mga stresses na ito. If we're not going to understand and practice and execute stress management, lalamunin tayo ng panahon ng situation. So we have to. These things that I'm sharing to you, put it in mind and put it into action. These are the good things that we're going to be an armor for our life and for our body.
Sir, excuse me, nakamute naka po kayo. Kanina pa ba nakamute or just now? Just now lang po. Okay, sorry, okay. I just press it unexpectedly. Okay, so this stress management are for, so ito lang naman ay alam na natin. Yeah, I'm, uh, I am just going to give you a bit of, you know what, if you are, this stress management is how we're going to control the problem. Uh -huh. Always remember that um, in these things, in making decisions, not all the time. In the stress management, in the time management, always remember that problems is not literally a problem. Problems, we have to take it as only a challenge. Pag marunong tayo mag time management, marunong tayo magdala ng stress management, these problems are just challenges and will never be a problem. So how could we do it? First one, apa sempre, if you could feel that uh, you are suffering stress, go for this path. Massage could relax your body. Do the exercise, jogging, walking, no? running. Para matanggal natin stresses natin, it could be the stress sa katawan natin, physical, mentally, emotionally. Malaking factor yan, and that's proven. Hobby? Yes, it is. Ako, I do love to read refereed article. I do love to actually read scientific journals. And what I'm going to do every time I do read that, I have to validate. I have to validate it according to my understanding. So whether it is negative or positive. And you know what? My stresses actually came out and keep away from me. So kayo din po, kung kaya no ang hobby nyo, gawin nyo yan para mabawasan yun. Okay, you have to love your hobby. Okay, so malaking bagay yan para makatulong sa inyo. No? So, uh, sa ko nga sa'yo, sa inyo, um, ako mismo, personally, personally uh, very stressful ang aking work, but uh, I have to take the opportunity to actually exercise whatever it is para malabanan ko ito. And the meditation. You know what, when it comes to the meditation, it is a uh, mental exercise, if you're not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, meditation is a mental exercise when you're going to focus and concentrate the things. Alam nyo, po, alam nyo po sa meditation, I found out that the meditation could also give you a better person. Kasi sa meditation, pumapasok din yan ang realization of anything that troubling your mind or your, your, your life. Nakikita mo doon na, ah, I have to be, I have to think like, a, I have to be good enough to our people, to my family. Kasi that's also proven to me. And in yoga, so ang yoga Nasasama din yan ng sometimes spiritual, mental, almost the same with the meditation. But uh, in yoga, we have, to, uh, we have to do it in our body. We have to actually get our body ready para ma-release all, all the tensions. Kung ano mga problema na meron tayo. Isang magandang basihan yan on how to control the stress. And the nature. You know what? I love to travel. Okay, alam ko kayo, gustong gusto niyo din mag-travel. The nature, mga bundok na yan, mga halaman na yan, mga bukid na yan, falls, you know, the river, the sounds of this river, the water, even the sounds of the uh, animals. I love to listen to those things and watch them. Nawawala, nawawala ang problema, nawawala ito. Okay, kaya basically you know what? Tagaytay is my best place. Siguro napakalapit. So whether I'm happy or not, to whether I am stressed or not, I have to go to Tagaytay because the combination of everything. Masarap na hangin. You need that. You need that. Huwag tayong kumulong. But of course, we have to consider that we are suffering pandemic now. Ano? So when the pandemic ay wala na, we can do that. No? And other way around, you can choose some of this. Kung hindi ka muna makakapunta dun sa nature, to solve your stresses, there are plenty of choices as you can see on the monitor, in the monitor, should I say. So time management is part. Kung hindi mo matapos mag schedule mo, wag kikreate yan ng stress sa buhay mo. So time management is needed. Music, the sounds, here it goes. Ako po ay hindi music lover. I only appreciate music when it plays. Pag naririnig ko na, I like that. Diyan ko siya na-appreciate. But you know what? It is, in fact, a good thing to do. Listen to the music you love. 
something that could actually lift your spirit. Huwag naman po yung nakakabigat pa kasi may mga musika ang nakakabigat. Ha? Okay, so iwasan natin yon. Dapat dito ay malabanan natin stress. And the last one is the therapy. The therapy could be done by our experts. Okay, you know what? When I when my mom passed away five or six years ago, if I'm not mistaken, I had this so-called depression. Okay, and after that, I would be able to uh, to um, treat it, and then sometimes stresses exists. My therapist told me, my psychologist told me, to have my own aquaria. If you could see, actually, I'm currently at home. If you could see at the back, I have seven aquaria. And one little little aquarium, huh? I have a seven aquaria and a bigger aquarium. So I started to buy fish and put it at home. So every morning before I'm going to leave the house, going to the office, I am taking coffee while feeding them, while talking to them to make my start, my day start beautiful. And ending it up. Pagkagabi, because I'm a coffee drinker, before I'm going to sleep, I'm going to feed them and talk to them again while having me coffee. So fish, I love guppies. Aquarium, the aquaria, I love to actually have it because it's treating my stresses. Okay, so these are the different uh, the, these are different things that you could actually apply para pumawala yung stresses natin. Okay, so um, now we have to have this, the productivity. The productivity, I just want to let you know that if you do have the proper time management and if you have the uh, stress management, all the results of this are called to be productivity. I don't want to take this a productivity. That's what really happening in a certain establishment, let's say manufacturing, because in other aspects, productivity is being defined. There are different meanings of productivity. But in your case, because it is a combination of different people, the attendees are coming from different places, ages. If we will see the productivity, it's also the result of what we've been doing. Okay, Kaya if you could see here, productivity is the result of the output over the input. Kung ano ang ginawa natin ngayon, kaya you have to make sure that you're going to start it right. Kung ano ang ginawa mo ngayon, dapat tama ito para sigurado ka na ang kalalabasan nito, ang output nito ay maging maayos. At kung ano ang kaayusang inilabas nito, that will become the productivity. Okay. So, kung ikaw ay nag-aaral bilang estudyante, mag-aaral ng mabuti. That's something that you could input into. Mag-aral ng mabuti, mag-attend the class, makinig sa teachers, do the assignments on all the requirements, and you will be getting a good grade. And that's your output, the good grade. And of course, because you're having good grades, you're able to pass, and to pass is now your productivity. Wow! Nakapasa ka, it's because of your hard work because of her dedication to finish her schooling or even the subject to pass it. So that's what's called productivity. Whatever results into a positive output, that is productivity. Whatever helped you, that is productivity. So kaya kailangan po sa bawat gagawin natin. Always remember the productivity. Na dapat pagising natin kinamagahan, may additional tayong improvement. Sa bawat gagawin natin project or program, kailangan ang kalalabasan nito ay maayos. Because the productivity defines us. The productivity of our task ay nagdi-define kung ano at sino tayo. Tatandaan po natin yan. So in the other aspect, you could see the materials, the power, the money, the machine, the man, or the 4 amps or 5 amps could be. Those are the input. And you have to take the processing and then that output. And whatever the output would be, that is productivity. Okay. So here is now the productivity lessons. Okay. So I got it also. So I got it from the right. We have to, I have to, uh, I have to acknowledge the right for sharing this. Okay, I just want to share with you. Well, the productivity lessons that have endured out through the ages is one, a stitch in time saves time. Mean to say, pag may problema ka ngayon, tahiin mo na. Okay, so going beyond two minutes, pag natapos mo in just a minute or two, fix it. 
do not wait tomorrow to fix it. Another one, it is possible to move mountains by carrying small stones. It would rather to finish five, six, or ten small things rather than you are finishing one thing but you're not able to finish it. Tapos may ikin ang tapusin ang maliliit na bagay, lima, anin, tito, walo siya matapo, or more, kaysa sa isang bagay na hindi mo matapasapas. Think of many things and do one. Eto po, dito mali ang application na tinatawag natin multitasking. Not all the time multitasking is good. Multitasking is could be a skill, but not necessarily good. Because multitasking will actually put you to danger. Because you have to concentrate on the prime responsibility you have. Make, uh, be productive first in your primary responsibilities before performing other things. Or else, baka ang responsibility mo, ang hindi mo magawa, ang ibang bagay na gawa mo na. So think of many things, but do one. Okay. Because it is compromising your productivity. So another one, tell me, I'll forget. Show me and I may never. Involve me in IT. Okay. We do the hearing process just to hear the sound, the listening. It's because we're going to understand, but it's not enough. Perform. Do what you have understood. And that's what this one is saying. The productivity will only exist if you perform it, if you execute it. Okay? Another one is better an ounce of happiness than a pound of gold. So if you are motivated, if you are actually inspired, then perform. Okay, yeah. So uh, you will be getting gold of this. Your efficiency, your effectiveness is very possible if you are motivated. Another one is no living man all things can. So do not be selfish. May mga tao kasi manager, supervisor, kaya ito, kaya ito, kaya ko ito, but we're not able to find the deadline. So better, if you do not know this, we have to delegate it to someone who actually can perform it better than us could be or could uh, actually perform it. Na alam naman natin, we could trust you. Okay? Another one is an hour in the morning is worth two in the evening. You know what? What is this trying to tell us is we have to get enough sleep. Dapat po matulog tayo ng tamang oras. Okay, because you know what? In the morning, once we wake up, we will be having a good morning, really. We're going to face our work with a smile. We have the eagerness to perform, and we are challenged to perform now, and we feel better. So, yan pong ibig sabihin ito. Another one, a picture is worth a thousand words. We are human. We love to think everything. We love to uh, dream anything. We're trying to figure out anything. So, sige, gamitin po natin yun. Gamitin natin yun. We must be creative. Because in one way or the other, those things might be needed in our future project or program. And we could visualize already our plans. That is productivity. And the last one, adult pencil is greater than the sharpest memory. What we're trying to say is jot down, write down everything because you will be reminded to do something. Okay, all your goals, be specific, objective, put it down so that you wouldn't be able to forget it. Because if you forget it, you keep on going back from the very beginning. So what we're trying here, this pencil that trying to tell us is for us to make a plan in the plan is a navigational tool that will direct us to the place we want to get. Okay, maliwanag po ba yan? Ha? Okay, napaka, napaka, napaka ganda. So, definitely, to wrap it up, okay, time management plus stress management that equals to productivity. So, good time management is important if you are to carry a heavy workload of not having too much stress. Kailangan, ano? Make it just a sort of challenge. Time management helps you to lessen long-term stress by giving you direction when you have too much work to do. It puts you in control of where you are going and helps you to increase your productivity. So, the time management must be part of our soft skills.
The stress management must be part of our soft skills so that the productivity is our fruits of our labor. Okay, so yan po ang kalagan and that actually wraps up my presentation of the day. So I think um, if you have some questions, you may actually have it now. Thank you so much, everyone. Sir, thank you. Yes. Thank you, po, Sir Martin. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, po. Sir Martin. You, Sir Martin. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Meet, if meet there are some... Hello. Okay, okay. Okay, nandyan pa ba si partner Alvin? Yes, Miss Emeline, I'm here. Sabi, no? Nakinig ba kayo kay Sir Martin? Oo nga, sino bang mga nakinig? Oh. Yes oh. po, thank you I, po. I just, I just want to know, you, how, could, how could I turn it over? Um, Doon po sa tabi ng name ko, yung pong three dots. Ayan po sir. Okay, Ako three dots and then... Thank you. And then, what are we gonna do now? Ano po yun? Sorry, ha? Okay na po. Okay na. Okay, sige. Okay. Ayan. So, ngayon, inisip ko, after ko makinig kay Sir Martin, ano kaya ang mas importante dun sa manager ko? Urgent mm -hmm. o important? Ano kaya ang uunahin ko dun pag nagbigay siya ng pass sa akin? Ano sa tingin nyo, guys? <laughs> yeah, oh, di ba? Kasi alam pa mga managers natin. Top line up. So kung may questions kayo, pwede nyo na pong itanong ngayon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mahihiya Your ko kayo, pwede din well po sa chat. Ikaw naman, partner Alvin. Ano naman ang mga naglaro sa isip mo habang nakikinig kay Sir Martin? Marami, partner eh. Um... Pero ang lahat ng ito is hindi questions, pero mga quoted. Kumbaga, okay. dun sa unang slide niya pa lang, no? yung decide if you are a nut or a nut. Napakaganda ng internalization ko doon kasi tama eh. You must have a plan when things get rough, di ba? Para madali ka makapag-adjust kasi napaghandaan mo na. Di ba, partner? Tama. Ako naman, ang na-jot down ko sa sinabi ni Sir Martin is yung sa stress management. Pwede nating i-release ang stress natin through music, yes. nature, and meditation. And it's all for free. So, di ba? Um, walang stress, walang gastos. Tama? Yes, you know, tama. At uh, stress is not always a bad Yes, that is right, Emily. And uh, yes, sir. you know what? It's really good to us. Uh, it's really good, in fact, on how to protect ourselves, especially for these stresses. Ano? Ah, uh, sa tutulan napakarami pa eh. Kula lang tayo sa oras eh. <laughs> Your realization to us. Uh, yes, realization. Napakagandang topic mo, sir. Diba? Napakagandang topic eh. Kasi alam na natin na uh, some of us now is, um, you know what? Parang yung stresses is going into the depression na. Kailangan ma-avoid natin yun. No, kind of avoid that again. Anyway, that's a good realization. What about other questions, please? And today, live na live po pala tayo sa Facebook ngayon. Okay, you can watch so, us on Facebook. So, batiin niyo po yung mga sarili niyo. Oo, oo. At yung mga, um, yung mga visitors namin dyan, batiin nyo po kung saan po kayo galing. May binati wow. na ako, yung mga taga-EMS group at saka sa mga Ionix EMS. So mag-comment po kayo doon at babatiin po namin kayo. Ayun. And we did, I, would like <laughs> also, I would like also to take the opportunity to say thank you for those um, uh, who actually messaged me to attend the seminar. Some of them also are coming from my uh, graduate, uh, as a graduate uh, student school for the master role and from the other office of the organization and then friends as well at mga estudyante ano uh, oh marami akong nababasa dito oh ah <laughs> uh, sige po ano po kayo mga katanungan or uh, gustong maliwanagan yes, sir, may mga tanong dito sige po ano din nakakapatay daw po ba ang stress 
Naku po, ang stress po literally ay hindi naman talaga nakakamatayan kasi uh, kung sabihin na natin this fundamental, the reason why we are having stress management na kailangan muna i-equip natin sa sarili natin. Ano? Uh, equip natin kasi sabi ko nga po, uh, makakamatay lamang siya if we're not able to manage it to the, you know, to the the most severe way. Yung tatawag ko kanina ng distress. Pag napunta na tayo dun sa distress at hindi na makontrolan at hindi na yun ay mai-address, doon na lang po nagkakaroon ng problema. Okay? Okay, next question please. Thank you sir. po, so partner. Hello, Sir Kumasa Martin. Kumusta tayo? Yes. Hi. May tatanong lang po ako. Go ahead po. Uh, paano po natin malalaman if enough is enough? Yung hindi na natin kaya bang kontrolin yung stress na to at kailangan na natin mag-seek ng uh, advice. Well, you know what? As long as you're going to open your mind, let's say, something's kasi disturbed ka na. Okay. You are, uh, you could feel also that you are not performing any, uh, anymore. You are not productive anymore. So if you could feel that you are not productive anymore, na hindi tulad ng dati nagagawa mo, there's something actually. Yung nga sasabi ko na, babalik ka doon. Bakit hindi ko na ito nagagawa? So, pag nalaman mo na hindi mo na nagagawa ang dating ginagawa mo, malalaman mo ang kadailanan and you will be finding yourself you are stressed. And if you are stressed, people around you could also tell you that there is something wrong with you. I think kailangan natin pag-usapan may problema ka ba. All those things na naririnig natin sa ating kaibigan, sa friends, put it in mind na baka nga talaga we need to seek You know, we need to seek psychologists. Psychology, you know what? To actually meet them, it doesn't mean it's a wrong thing to do, ha? Sila po ang makakagabay sa atin. Sila po yung taong dapat natin pakinggan. Because these people around us could only give us suggestions. They cannot give us literally an advice. Kasi po ang advice itself is critical, ha? Ulitin ko nga po, ha? Pag advice po or recommendation could only be given by the experts. The people around us could only give us suggestions. Magkaiba po yun. Okay? So enough okay, is enough okay. if you're already disturbed. Okay, sir. Thank you po. Yes po. Thank you, sir Martin. Yes. So partner, dumako na tayo sa ating... Where is that? Naghang pa yata ang aking PC. Okay, para po muna sa mga attendees natin. For, uh, mamaya po sa last part ng ating webinar is meron po tayong parapol. Okay, so stay and enjoy. Ayan, so yes. partner, Marv, partner Alvin, paki-award na kay Sir Martin ang ating Certificate of Appreciation. Okay, to Sir Mark, to Sir Martin Bonifacio, Certificate of Appreciation is proudly given to Professor Martin G. Bonifacio in recognition for his valuable insights and knowledge imparted to the students of Trimex Colleges during the webinar entitled Time, Stress, and Productivity Management, given this 28th day of March 20 and 21, signed by our Scopes President. Ms. Roger Andy Reyes, and our engineering department head, Engineer Gerben de Mesa, and our Vice President for Academic Affairs and Student Services, Dr. Rito A. Camigla, Jr. Yeah, thank you, Sir Martin. Oh, thank you so thank much you, for Martin. that. Okay, I would like to say thank you, everyone, from the, um, I mean, the committee, Special to the department head, uh, Dr. Demesa, and to Dr. Camigla, and to the Trimix Colleges. I love Trimix Colleges. So thank, thank you, you so, so much, much, sir, for your wonderful insights. Our webinar is... Uh, it's really actually timely and relevant for all of us. As we all know that... Um, the 
the students who also experiencing stresses, but also the professors. We're actually able, <laughs> I hope. It, um, of course, not only the students, but also for those attendees in their company, different companies or representatives. I know a uh, majority of you are having shouldering the task. <laughs> Some other tasks of your managers given to you, which is actually outside of your job description. <laughs> but basically, all of us are all able to um, experience stress. It depends upon what particular stress, but nevertheless, those tips and awareness can help us to, to have um, free stress out during um, this particular pandemic. So thank you very much, Po, for your valuable insights and a wonderful and great presentation. Thank you, Sir Kiel. Thank you so much, Sir. Uh, bago tayo sa ating second ano, guest speaker, panoorin po na natin ang BSCPE promotional ad. Before I proceed with the second speaker, may I also greet all the guests and other um, participants for today's uh, webinar. To my colleagues, to the faculty and staff of engineering, also to um, staff from our college registrar, Ms. Elizabeth Pa. At, and also to the management of Trimix and also from uh, other school, uh, from um, SDA College Center Rosa for University of and other colleagues and students uh, from these um, um, institutions for Trimix and other schools, a pleasant morning to all of you. Stay tuned and be ready for the second year. Have a great day to everyone. Okay. So let me introduce to you our ano, second part ng ating webinar, The Millennials and Financial Literacy. Excited na kayo siguro no, kung sino yung speaker natin kasi wala siyang picture. Yes! <laughs> so okay, let me introduce to you our second guest speaker. So I cannot think of the most suitable speaker for our second topic entitled Millennials and Financial Literacy than this person that I will introduce to you today. He is a graduate of Master in Information. Wait lang. He 
He is a graduate of Master of Science in Information Technology at the Polytechnic University of the Philippines Commonwealth Campus. He is currently taking up Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Marketing at AMA Computer College. He is a former Learning Quality Auditor in Createch Philippines, and he is a former IT instructor at SDI College and San Francisco de Sales School and Santa Rosa Laguna. He's been teaching for 14 years and is now an IT instructor at the PUP Santa Rosa. He is also a civil service professional passer and an IT passport certification passer by the Philippine National Standard, Philippine National IT Standard. From 2015 up to the present, he is the director of the PUP Federated Faculty Association and the president of the PUP Santa Rosa Alumni Association since 2014. In 2012, he co-authored a book entitled Computer Fundamentals published by the Grand Water Publishing. Aside from teaching, he is also a sales director at RCD Realty Marketing Corporation and a licensed financial advisor at Sun Life Canada, Philippines. But he is not just your ordinary insurance agent as Mr. Velasco is recognized as one of the 1,000 most respected advisors across Asia. His list of achievements didn't stop here for Mr. Velasco is also a million dollar round table member belonging to the top 1% of all the licensed financial advisors in the world. It is safe to say that he is our MDR representative to the world. Mr. Velasco is a consistent top financial advisor in South Luzon, a Macaulay Club, Vice President Qualifier and was once featured in the Philippine Star's Digital Jario. In his free time, sa lahat ng ginagawa ni Sir, may free time pa siya, Sir Oscar is mentoring hundreds of his former students and friends, including me, towards learning stock market and all the things in his expertise, and that is for free. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you are all excited to meet our next guest speaker, so let us all welcome Mr. Oscar Velasco. Yes, uh, good morning. It's my here. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir, Oscar. Good morning, good morning, morning sir. Yes, good morning to everyone. Good morning, good morning. sir. Yeah. Uh, so let us, uh, let's start right with you all. So thank you for that uh, introduction, uh, Emily. Uh, yeah, medyo madami tayong time sa buhay. <laughs> I also do have uh, 24 hours per day as all of us. Uh, first, so this one is uh, it's informal uh, yung, uh, yung, yung, yung presentation, so casual, para may comment to the price uh, at some coffee shop. So, yeah, so ayun yung mga sinabi ni Emily, and this Emily, na nagbibendo ako ng Emily. So, medyo madami siya, so I'm also a student. And I'm studying uh, PSYTM, so real estate management. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, uh, my current achievement is uh, so I'm using the process as an IT instructor and the lens. But uh, if you're going to talk, it's so much of a lie in undergrad course or in the master's course, which is uh, IT. Uh, which is IT. How about this one? Okay, so how about this one? Okay, so how about this one?
Tapi sebagai tidak sering. Nah, apa yang lebih baik? Sir Oscar. Hello. 
Okay, okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. Nah, okay, aku bingung dia. Sir, aja nak bap.
Okay, so I'm sorry for the delay. So let me share my screen to start our presentation. So, okay, keep going on it. And the quick attribution. Okay, so, since I'm uh, playing on my chat, I have a uh, to chat. So, I'm going to fix that. Share Okay, so for the topic, uh, okay, so it seems uh, okay now. So let me start now your presentation. So millennials and financial literacy uh, just having for better uh, living. So the topics to be covered in my presentation are. So the reason why we have to, to save and then a personal vision statement this is very important then setting your goals uh, in action and then voice goals, goals and then goals and then magic number is very important as well and you uh, effective uh, And uh, effective budgeting and sources of passive income. So,
Yeah, so first, uh, I want you to so empty your cup so that we can fill in some information. So there are things that uh, taught by us, by the society and our parents, our education system, the media, and everything. So those are inculcated in our mind that, uh, that will take the time us so but uh so but accumulate the uh, and, and wealth so let's try to to empty first uh, this moment lang naman, uh, for, 30, for the next 30 minutes okay so the reason why we have to, to save this yeah let's say for example i have been working for let's say i'm working for 14 years now uh teaching and other uh, side hustle and then I have saved an X amount of money. So I want you to think that yung, uh, yung status in let's say you've been working for your, uh, let's say your parents or sisters, like that, you pray that, like a word. So, student pala. So, you uh, uh, parents and siblings, uh, ninyo. So, and then the question, the next question is, how happy are you with your, uh, with your answers? Okay, so, okay ba yung, yung output or yung, yung amount, yung figure na nasa, nasa mind ninyo or, or not? So, how much savings you should have by now? So, let's compute. So, let's say if you are working now for well, kayo mag work din naman yung mga students in the near future. So if you're working for, let's say, 10 years, fine, hindi tayo marami mag And then you, ang um, salary ninyo for the 10 years, 25, let's say, you can increase 25,000 per month. So let's say you're saving up a 10% of that every month. So that's 2, 5. Okay, so times uh, 10 years ninyo, times 12. So that is the amount of money you should have. Then let's say, ninyo, if you are committed to save a 10% of your salary. So why do we have to, to do that? So let's say we're going to live up to 80 years old. So normally, the lifespan of mga Pinoy is, uh, based on study, is 70. Uh, okay, but so, so female and something. But let's say 80, uh, we'll die at 80, uh, 80 years old. So half of our lives, 0 to 20, uh, we are studying uh, lab without Work and without an uh, income. Okay? So at the age of 20 to 40, yeah, next start the time of work. Uh, we build our uh, family house, and then the time of property, and then our uh, car. So every time we work with income for that uh, 20 years of our lives. And then the next another 20 years is working for entire with, with income. So age 40 to 60. And then, kapag dumating ni age 60 to 80, so nag-retire na tayo with the uh, working anymore, so wala na source of income. So, kung titignan nyo yung uh, pie chart or yung, yung chart plan, is half of our lives is walang income, walang work, and then half is working with some income. So, that's uh, the, the percentage ng chance ninyo to to save some 50% of your working life. So, kung ngayon pa lang, uh, laging ubos yung pera. So, ngayon yung pera naman yung uh, ubusin ninyo pag nagdangin nyo. So, up to 50. Okay. Sa, 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 yung uh, level. So, magkano pa yung dapat na ipunin natin uh, sa retirement uh, savings. So, well, I'm presenting this uh, sa mga clients ko sa, sa, sa insurance for them to realize how much, how big is the money needed for you to retire at age dito sa, sa pinatans. Okay, so let's say, uh, partner kayo, uh, mag-asawa, the age of 60, okay? And then, magbubuhin pa kayo for the next 15 years of your lives, partner kayo. So, let's say, two people. And then, times three meals per day. So, that is uh, six meals kada araw. Okay, so let's say yung value ng meal na yun is 50 pesos per, per meal. 
So 60, uh, uh, 6 times you face 300 pesos per day for both of you to have to part of try. Okay, so you can get the natin to 365 days. So that is 109,500 pesos in one year. Para sa pagkaya ninyo asawa in the future from 16 to 75 uh, years. Ago. So let's say 109 times 500 uh, times 15 years. So to age 75. So you'll be needing 1.6 uh, million pesos for food budget alone. Okay, since you are not working at the age of 60, unless you would like to, to work for that age up to 75. But most of the Filipinos, I think that's my last retirement uh, age. So that amount, 1.6, is dapat ngayon pa lang you are saving up na for that. If not, so being young, sure, how many bats are not when you use for parang kami? Ah, student parang ah, student parang kami. So no need to save. So I'm sorry to say this, but ah, sa culture ng ah ng Filipinos, so we have to take good care sa parents nila, of course. So if bata pa kayo and then your parents nila is may kibay to kaya, so that mas lalo na kung kaya mo kibot na one point six ah million pesos for them para magtagari na. Okay, so uh, ang importante sa, 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 fin, sa financial planning is more on the personal vision statement talaga. Okay, so I think we'll make it uh, wait lang. About this one. Mas okay po ba siya? Yes, it's loud and clear. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'll just use this uh, <laughs> a microphone of my of my laptop. Okay, so the most important thing naman sa, sa planning ng financials is uh, the vision statement. Okay, so what are your plans in the coming future para pag ipunan ninyo siya. So, let's say si Mark ng like Facebook is ang vision statement niya is to give people the power to build community. Okay? So, uh, to bring the world closer together. So, vision statement niya nung wala pa ako, hindi pa ko sa Facebook. So, nangyari na naman siya. So, si Bill Gates, ang vision niya is to have a computer on every desk na, na, na dito sa, sa mundo. Okay? So, it also happened na din. So, vision statement na ito nung wala pa ang, ang, ang Microsoft. Okay? So, let's say as you are a school owner and um, vision statement mo is to serve children and families to teaching art, music, and language and rich value and to be part of children's lives to achieve. So, dapat uh, all I want to say is dapat nakapin, nakapokus yung vision mo na gagawin mo in the coming years of your life. So, let's say sa housewife uh, gusto niyang uh, also working siya, I want to balance my family, professional life, both. So I want to become a successful human being. So I want to improve my personality, also the growth of company and myself. So I want to earn money to make my family and society happy. So as simple as that. Okay. So this one is my vision board. I don't know if you have a vision board, but uh, I suggest you create one. So, guided kayo every morning kapag gigising kayo. So, I created this uh, vision board when I was 25. So, I want to go to that place in Peru. And I want that car. And I want that house. 
with farm and I want that 10 million pesos. Okay, so uh, dapat you have that in your room or in your laptop or in your wallet or wallpaper and cell phone. So uh, there's something that na nagagawa na lagi nyo nakikita yung vision nyo so that it trick nyo yung brain nyo that you are attracting those uh, visions. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be with that, but it is effective for, for me. So we have to begin with the end in mind. So what does it mean? This one is uh, sa book ni Stephen Covey, sa Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So maybe you want to read that one uh, for your uh, self-productivity then and efficiency. So you have to write down your goals uh, one to ten. So after our talk, or like our, our webinar, so list down, ano bang gusto ko sa buhay? Let's say you are a student. So after you get ready, uh, ano bang Ano bang gagawin ko? Okay. So, uh, 10, and then you you prioritize that. So, whatever goal na nasisip nyo, so just write it down. Okay. So, and then after that, so a goal without a plan is just a dream. So, you're just dreaming about those things. If you are not going to create an action plan for those, or for each goal na sinulat ninyo dun sa, sa papel, and then you have to ask yourself, so what is that one goal that if accomplished first will help to speed up the accomplishment of the remaining goal? So you have to think out of those uh, 10 items that you want to accomplish, so ano yung dapat yung unahin na makakatulong na mapabilis, matupad yung mga iba pang goals ninyo. So normally, pag pinapagawa ko yan sa mga, uh, sa mga kinocoach ko, is ang um, lumalabas lang is of course they need the seed money so kailangan nila ng pera para ma-accomplish lahat ng mga tasks na nasulat nila doon sa sa taas okay so let's say you wanted to be a millionaire uh within 10 years so that is so tagal okay so let's say sinampol ko lang para hindi tayo mahirap ang compute so this one this is the magic number so you have to put this in mind and in writing as well and para every day of your life you're going to be reminded about the figures that you have to be earning or saving uh para ma-accomplish ninyo yung goal ninyo to be a millionaire of course lahat ng pinoy ayan ang pangarap okay so maging millionaire yung kaya nga madaming tumataya sa sa loto but this one this simple computation will make you realize that it is very simple to achieve that. So let's say you want 1 million in 10 years time. Okay, so per year, all you have to do is to save up 100,000. Okay. So per month, you have to save 8,333. Uh, per week, 2,083. And then per day, you have to save 298 pesos. Per hour, 12 pesos. And per minute, uh, 0.21. So, bakit kailan natin break down yung napakalaking chunk goal natin, which is to be a millionaire, into smaller uh, smaller wins or smaller goals that kaya nyo achieve every day. So let's say you are earning, kunwari may mga, ayan, may mga, may mga nag-work na ba dito. Let's say there are some of you working students or some is working na talaga and then bumalik lang sa, sa studies, sa school. So let's say you want to be a millionaire, so dapat you are not accepting jobs that is paying less than 298 pesos per day. Of course, your goal to be a millionaire in 10 years will not happen if lower than 298. I'm sure wala naman napapaswell din ang 298 per day. So dapat uh, times three of that or times four of that for the expenses so that you can save 298 pesos per, uh, per day. Okay? So, every time that you're going to write a goal, you have to break it down into smaller uh, pieces and doable na, na action. So, masyado kasi magugulunan kasi kayo pag isang buong 1 million yung gusto nyo na-accomplish. So, do it on a per day, per week, or per month basis or per year. So, that way, mas magiging uh, achievable siya and hindi kayo tatama rin. Let's say if you want to lose weight, let's say if you, you want to lose 20 kilograms, so in one year, so since you are all engineers naman dito, so magigiling tayo mag-compute. Ah, kayo pala. So magigiling kayo mag-compute at sabahan. So divide that. Uh, 
eight kilo, uh, 20 kilograms divide 12 months and then divide nyo per month and then per day. And then malalaman nyo na, okay, kailangan ko lang pala mag-lose ng 10 grams uh, each day. So hindi kayo mahihirapang uh, i-accomplish yung goal na yun na magpapayag ng 20 kilograms in one year. Kasi 20 kilograms is so big, I mean so heavy to, to lose it kung hindi nyo siya i-divide into smaller uh, pieces. So it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. And this is by Robert uh, Kisaki. So it's true. I have a lot of clients that are earning 15,000 uh, 15, per month, but they are earning a lot compared to my clients that they are earning six digit, and then wala silang ipon. So dun ko na patunayan na it's not how much money you earn talaga. It's, a, it's the amount of money you save, and then kung saan mo siya, uh, so for an effective budgeting, so uh, for the common, uh, I'm sorry, ito kasi yung term ko for the commoners, okay? Uh, for the commoners, ang, ang formula na for budgeting is pagdating ng income, so this one, ito yung uh, una. So pagdating ng income, of course, uh, automatically, Filipinos will uh, will pay the bills, okay, and then uh, bibili ng groceries, magbabayad ng renta ng magbabayad ng renta sa, sa bahay, uh, allowance ng mga kids, and then pag may natira, magsashopping, uh, bibili ng t-shirt, ng blouse, uh, ng pants, and then sasabihin natin sa, sa, sa sarili is kung ano yung magtitira ay yung save ko. Okay, so that is the common mistake na ginagawa ng mga Filipino employees. So, income minus expenses is equal to saving, which is normally uh, 99% is walang natitira. So, ang mga Pinoy is walang savings uh, as simple as that. So, from now on, uh, from now on, so, I, I, if you are working or in, in the coming years after you graduated, is uh, a work kayo. So you use the second formula. So income minus savings is equal to uh, expenses. Okay, so pag you income, you commit yourself that you're going to save 5% of that or 10% of that or 20% of that. And then kung ano yung matitira, ayun yung expenses ninyo. So kung paano nyo siya gagawin, uh, you have to sign a form, a contract, with yourself that I, Oscar Velasco, will save 5% of every money that will that will go to my ATM or so box so wallet ko or whatever so it's not income in your and then you, you sign that okay it will have an effect sa sa brain in your that you are committed to save 5 or 10% so in the first year of your of your journey sa financial freedom so make it 5% muna para hindi mo siya doon bigyan and then the next the following year you make it 10 and then 15 and then 20 and then malalaman niyo after 4 years 5 years hindi niyo na kailangan ng sweldo okay so that is uh, proven based sa mga clients uh, na kinu-coach ako okay so yeah this one uh, expenses uh Savings and then tithes. Okay, so ayan yung percentage na advisable to, to a lot in each uh, bottles or its uh, categories uh, as so a financial. 70% for expenses, 20% for the savings, and then if you're doing outreach or as a church, you know, you can do 10% uh, 10, 10 of that sa tithes. Uh, okay? So never depend on single income. So make investment to create a second source. So this is very true. So if uh, it's a long source of income in your so uh mahirap siya, okay, not being negative, but it's it's hard to, to budget the limited uh, source. So other sources of passive income, so you can do real estate. So a lot of my previous students. So they have this goal to earn their first million in real estate. So I help them. So some of them is halfway. Again, they already sold a 10 units of uh, a, pro a property uh, as far as Starlap without leaving the comfort of their homes. So they, uh, you can do that as well. 
I'm not I'm not recruiting. Pero pwede din naman. I mean, if you want to make it a sideline so you can message me after uh, after this talk. But that one, you can earn your first million in, in real estate. So walang halong uh, sales talk yun. Uh, that is doable. All you have to do is to sell 20 units of property. And then you're going to have your first million. Congratulations. So I'm sure you have a lot of friends in relatives, more than 20 naman sila for sure. And then if you're going to ask them, uh, are you going to buy a, a house? Magugulat ka na lang or a property or real estate property. Uh, magugulat ka na lang, sasagot nila I already did. Okay, so sayang yung commission, you lost uh, 40,000, 30,000 on that relative of yours or a friend of yours. So, magugulat na lang kayo. Tanong hindi isa-isa yung mga kamag-anak ninyo and mga classmates ninyo high school. So, magugulat na lang kayo that they are already acquired the property from the other agent. So, why not grab that opportunity and be the agent of your friends and relatives or co-workers. Okay? Next, uh, another source of passive income is stock market. So, later on, I will show you examples on how to do that. And next is cryptocurrencies. So, since you are all uh, engineering students, so you will be, for sure, me as an IT people, uh, we will understand it better than the other uh, people because we know how technology works, how computer works. So we got my edge style when it comes to investing in cryptocurrencies. So mutual funds, of course, and UL insurance. So you have to give the risk to other companies, to other insurance companies, and, and, and uh, compare that you have shoulder the risk. So the probability of our death is 100%. Okay, so that is guaranteed. So why not make money out of it? So the reason why uh, Japan, Korea, South Korea, China, and other countries are, are, are wealthy because when somebody dies from their family, so a lot of, a huge fund will, will flow in sa cash flow nila. So unlike the Philippines, so I'm sorry for comparing, but this is the truth. So like it's a Pilipinas, kapag namatay ang parents, uh, siblings, so walang cash flow na papasok, puro palabas, and then ang masama pa is may utang pang iniwan. So that's the reason they are very wealthy, they are uh, progressive, so unlike sa, Pilipin, uh, unlike sa Pilipinas na, na hindi. So less than 10% of the Filipinos are insured. So that's the sad reality. And majority of the of the cases of COVID uh, victims that, that died is hindi covered, uh, wala silang insurance. So that's the reality. So konti ang claims ng insurance in all insurance companies dito sa Pilipinas based insurance commission last year, 2020. So we are expecting that a lot of claims because of the, the pandemic, but the sad truth is walang konti ang claim due to COVID. Meaning, yung mga nabamatay sa COVID is walang insurance. Okay, so that's the reality. Next is uh, business ventures. Of course, you can do franchising and, and the likes if you don't know how to put up a business since uh, you have a business management uh, credit. And then, of course, uh, use OPM, OPT, and OPE. So what are those? Uh, I think you know the mga business naman. So that stands for uh, other people money. So other people's knowledge and other people's effort, okay? So let's say I'm the owner of a company and then I am hiring people, okay, to, to run my business. So I'm using their knowledge, let's say an accountant, to do the accounting works. And then I'm hiring uh, my powers para sa effort. So that is a, a very good leverage uh, against sa, sa so, so, so effort that you exert more to run solely your business. So that last item is the secret talaga for you to, to, to acquire wealth. Okay? So whatever purpose kung bakit kang nag-acquire ng wealth is uh, depends on you. So si so Elon Musk, the richest man in the world as of today, as of, this, as of today, is acquiring wealth kasi sabi niya, uh, Gusto niya save, mag-save, or uh, i-save ang species ng human 
into other planets. So when the time comes that the comet or uh, a disease will strike to the Earth at mahubos ang, ang humankind is meron magpapatuloy ng lahi natin interplanetary. So that's why he is acquiring a lot of money to make that happen sa Mars. Okay, so ayun yung vision niya sa 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 pag-acquire niya ng money. So kanina, sabi ko, it depends kung susulit yung vision statement why are you going to acquire a lot of wealth. So it, it varies. But dun sa 1 to 10, normally yung sa mga kinu-coach ko, of course, nag-acquire sila. The money is for their family, para sa health nila, sa retirement, and so on. So if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, so you will work until you die. So that is true. I mean, uh, as among students, of course, you have to think, how can I make money while sleeping? So, uh, no uh, At first, of course, if you're not going to add knowledge to what you have now, if you're not going to read books or to watch videos on how to do that, of course, wala ma add sa knowledge niyo. So you have to do a lot of effort to make that happen. But I will teach you some later on. So if you want to live like the 5% of the population who are usually successful, then don't act like 95%. Okay, so if all of us went to college because sabi ng parents natin is you study well so that you can get the good grades and then you will graduate college and then you will work to get a good job that will pay your expenses and then to build your own family and then help other people and then die. Okay, so that is uh, the cycle of life inculcated to, to us. Okay, that only by the people around us, but because, uh, through, uh, through history is canon yung set up. But that is not the, the, the path that you take the mga usually successful people. So a lot of successful people uh, like Mark uh, and other uh, billionaires, so they don't graduate at college, okay? So because they will waste time, that is four years, and they know that they can do a lot of things with that four-year uh, time frame. Okay, so if you want to be filter rich, so you should be doing uh, different, different things compared to the commoners. So who are those top 1% of our society? So this uh, article was published uh, April 15, 2020. So Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, so gains 24 billion, while a lot of people during that time, that is the first month of lockdown, or sa, sa Pinas, and then sa buong sa ibang basabi naman. So, kung lahat ng tao is nawala ng trabong, majority or most or plenty of people lost their job, so, and then uh, lost the income because of the pandemic, so si Jeff Bezos gained 24 billion. And then, yeah, US billionaires boost collective wealth by 406 billion. As market rebounds in coronavirus pandemic. So this one is May 1, 2020. So they're earning a lot. That is almost half trillion uh, USD. And also, the world's wealthiest family gets 4 million richer every hour. So kanina, yung kinupit ko, the magic number, you have to save, for you to be a millionaire after 10 years, you have to save a 12 pesos per hour. Okay, so. So 12 pesos per hour to be a millionaire for the next 10 years. But this family, so I want you to search who is the wealthiest family. Hindi ko nilagay nilaga yung, yung pangalan para meron kayong assignment. So the world's wealthiest family gets 4 million richer every hour without them doing uh, anything. So paano nangyayari yun? Kahit tulog sila, pagkikita sila ng 4 million per hour. So, I, of course, if you want to do that as well, so you have to, to exert a lot of effort to make that happen. So, yeah, if you can spend what you are earning, you are not earning enough. Okay, meaning, if nagagastos mo pa yung mga pera mo, meaning hindi ka pa mayaman. So, kapag hindi mo na kaya kubusin yung pera mo, that's the time that you are earning enough. So, that is the 
the barometer, I mean, uh, the measurement of how wealthy you are. So saving is different from investing. So when we say saving, uh, you're just making your body secure. Okay? So tinatabi mo lang sa ilalim ng punan mo or sa bank. So just to save. And then when the time comes that you need money, you have to withdraw or get it. Okay? So investing is you are making your money grow. So you're keeping your money to an investment. Ang purpose is to make it grow. So that's a two different thing na kailangan malinaw yung, yung border. Okay, so let's say if you want to invest in the stock market, so you can visit the website of Call Financial uh, Philippines. Okay, so our requirements lang doon, is that you can screenshot proof of billing, government ID, fill out for, ah, no. You fill out for is online, ah. And then you can do walk-in, but not now, kasi uh, lockdown. So, Ortigas and sa Makati. And then interview, and then initial deposit, and then you can start trading. So, a lot of studying is required when you when you want to 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 enter the so world uh, stock market. So this one is a comparison on how fast your money can grow when it kapag naka-invest lang siya or naka-save lang siya sa savings account so uh, mabagal siya as in stale. Okay? And then kapag naka-time deposit well, medyo mabilis. Pero kapag naka-invest siya into different funds like uh, mutual funds, so bond fund, balance fund, equity fund, but the highest or the, the fastest way for you to grow your money is to invest it in the stock market. Okay, so as shown in the picture. So, paano ba kumikita sa stock market? So, I have these pictures to show how your money can, can earn sa, sa, sa stock market. Let's say, last year, March 2020, exactly a year ago, uh, the price of SM Prime Holdings is only 19 pesos and 90 cents per share. The following month, so this is during the announcement of lockdown. So it dropped down up to 19.90 pesos. In April 2020, the following month, so naging 29.85 na siya. So kumita na yung pera ninyo ng 50,000 pesos. If you invest or if you bought 10,000 worth of Sandigal Prime Holdings. So in just a month, the gain is ng 50% of your money. Okay, so si Jollibee that time, 91 pesos, na pay April 109, but this year, uh, this uh, last time I checked, uh, mataas na siya. So in one month, you can gain 20%. As an investment, uh, you gain 62%. Okay. And then a Globe, 25% of your money in just a month. Okay, and then if you want to visit, you can check it sa, sa website nila how much na yung value ni, ni Globe. And let's say next, CPLDT, uh, again, gain 46% in one month. Uh, San Miguel Corporation, 30%. Uh, BPI, if you bought BPI during the lockdown last year, and then the following month, April, lalo na ngayon, uh, medyo last month, in December, uh, okay na yung uh, economy natin. So, mas mataas na yan, compared to 100% of that. Uh, Emperador, uh, 35%. And Universal Rubina is 30%. Ayalalad is 31.88% and Symmetrobank is 21%. That is bigger than the, the, the annual rates given by the banks. Okay, so hindi mo yan may ipon using time deposit and buying treasury bonds and whatever na binibigay na ng banko. Okay, so if you have money in the banks, tipping, uh, better na invest siya sa stock market para hindi kulog yung pera niya. Okay. So let's say you, if you want to invest the money in different mutual funds, uh, funds, VUL, and the like. So this one example, uh, such as uh, the date of establishment, which is 2005, that is 16 years ago. If you invested 16 years ago, uh, your money already earned 222%. Okay. So this is April last year. If you can see the graph yung price niya ng, ng todo because of the announcement of lockdown. And but ngayon is okay na siya, bumabawi na siya. If you bought that year, year to date, negative 27, one year, negative 29, meaning you can buy those shares uh, on sale. 
nakasave siya ng 27% or th- almost 30%. Okay, so, if pag sa kamalkado, don't be hesitant. That's a type that you should buy. Kulit sa mall, kapag nakasale, ang mga products nagkakagulo ang mga tao. Okay, so, dinudumog ang SM. Pero kapag ka mercado ang uh, Philippine Stock Exchange ang bagsak, natatakot ang mga tao. I don't know bakit baliktad ang mentality ng, ng Pilipino. That's the best time to invest in uh, stock market. Okay? Uh, next is, sinabi ko kanina, aside from stock market, uh, mutual funds, you can invest in cryptocurrencies. Okay? So, this one, uh, this, the, you, 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 the article on the left was published uh, published March 12, 2020. So Bitcoin falls past 6,000 USD per coin. So that's uh, 300,000 pesos per coin. But on the right side, this one is published uh, March 25, uh, three days ago, uh, 2021. So Bitcoin uh, tumbles 7%, pushing it near 50,000 pesos. As you know, investor interest rates. So after a year, exactly one year, the price of Bitcoin rose up to 50,000 USD per coin. But actually, it went up, up to 61,000 USD per coin. So that's how many? Okay, up, diba? So that's 3 million per coin. Compare last year, the 300,000 pesos per coin. So meaning, what kind of increase? So the increase of 1,000%. So times 10 in value ng invest niyo last March hanggang ngayon. Okay, so if you have that, well, make time to study about cryptocurrency, watch a lot of YouTubes. So you can message me and then I can send you links on those uh, 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 materials. Uh, eh, sabi ni Evelyn, well, baka dumami yung pag-uusap. Kanina si introduction. So yeah, I'm, t- I'm coaching a lot of my previous students and co-workers uh, on how to invest in stock market and cryptocurrencies for free. But, but uh, unlimited uh, time lang because I have a lot of things to do. So we're scheduling sta- uh, Zoom meetings lang din uh, once in a while to, to do that. So yeah, if uh, time is very vital when it comes to investment. Aside from interest, time talaga yung isang factor. So the earlier you invest in whatever investment, so the better. Okay, so sabi nung teacher ko nung, nung elementary ako is time is gold. Pero hindi ko yung naintindihan. I mean, well, tinuturo naman sa atin yung mga ganung uh, quotation nung bata pa tayo. Pero ngayon ko lang siya naintindihan. So sabi ko, yeah, that's correct. So time is gold. If I have a lot of time, if I have magic or a, a chili, so I will go back in time and, and buy those uh, socks that should not, okay? And then, so I can amass a lot of wealth. But of course, wala na. Hindi na natin mababalik yun. So what's the, the measurement for you to be financially free? So you become financially free when your passive income exceeds your expenses. Let's say you are your monthly expenses is let's say twenty thousand pesos, and then you have an investment in uh, stock market or some cryptocurrency that is earning uh, thirty thousand pesos per month. So by that, there's no need for you to work, okay? And then uh, cover your na expenses na per month. So ako, I have a lot of work. Not to not to earn money, but I have this big goal. I have this vision. That's why I said yes to this uh, to this invitation. Is because I have this vision in life to to help and create one hundred millionaires. Okay, so I have guinea pigs. Now. I have the subjects already. Okay, so. Uh, my previous students because of PUP and co-workers, so they are 174. So my backup account 74 just in case the it didn't work out so 100. Yung research ko. <laughs> okay, so that's my, my vision. That's why I have, I have a lot of uh, work. So number one is I have this real estate because I know so real estate, madali ko ba accomplish yun. I mean, kailangan ko na sila pagbedahin ng 20 units na, ng property and then they have it. Okay? So, I have this uh, insurance uh, sa sunlight because I know 
uh, insurance companies can give at least 500,000 after 15 years. Okay, so by that half na lang yung utang ko doon sa, sa, mga, sa mga subjects ko. So 500,000 na lang yung isipin ko kung saan namin kukunin yung 500,000. Uh, so that, I mean, every morning, ayun yung reason kung bakit ako hindi sa'yo. Kaya hindi ako napapagod. That's why I have to study BSRM to, to be a broker because mas malaki yung commission doon so I can give it to, to them pa. But it will take me three years pa. So medyo matagal pa rin then I have to pass the point and the like. So I, a lot of things to, to do. But that is the measurement. If you become financially free kapag kalagpas na yung passive income mo sa monthly expenses. So the question is, yeah, do you want to be wealthy or rich? So if you're going to ask, just to me, sir, uh, paras lang naman po yan. <laughs> I mean, uh, paras naman po mayaman yung ibig sabihin yan. Okay? But that two words is different uh, from each other. So, the definition of wealth is the number of days you can survive without physically working. Or anyone in your household physically working and still maintain your standard of living. So that is the measurement of wealth. The number of days, the number of hours you can survive without working. So if I'm going to ask to those uh, attendees now working, so but ask yourself, how many days I can survive without working? So can expenses per month? Mo, or ng family mo, and then you you do the math okay so then ma realize mo na since sunday ngayon march 28 so i can survive until april 4 okay so one week lang kasha yung pera and then pagrerat this sa facebook that the government is the cause of their poverty okay but in reality whoever is sitting there they're already poor uh, the time pa ni Marcos, ni Cory, <laughs> ni Erap, uh, ni Gloria, ni, ni Aquino, and then it comes to Tete, may hirap pa din sila. Okay? So kahit sino pa yung sumunod, si Lenny, ang presidente next year, so the same uh, run ang mababasa ninyo sa Facebook, may hirap pa din sila. The problem is uh, that you shouldn't not, uh, blame any, anyone. Uh, kung ano man nangyari sa buhay ninyo whatever, I mean, kahit hindi financially. So it's your decision, it's, it's your life, it's the result of your decision, as in lahat ng nangyayari sa, sa buhay. But anyways, kung malayo ako sa topic, uh, yeah, you have to ask yourself, how many days I can survive? So napatunayan natin yan noong last year, March. Okay? So, the lockdown, and then, okay, what's next? So dun natin nahuli yung mga Pinoy na wala silang ipon, good for one month. One week pa nga lang, madami na nagre-reklamo, nag uh, like the Nakao and so on. So, so I mean, Oscar, you cannot blame them. I'm not blaming them. I mean, I understand their situation that they don't have the savings for the next month, for the next six months. And then, tumagal pa ng isang taon at welcome back. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> okay. So, ayun yung uh, gift <laughs> sa atin. So, another lockdown for one week. And here again, the Filipinos never learn. So, they don't still have the savings after a year. Okay, so the same result, the same uh, scenario will happen to the Filipinos kung may extend pa your lockdown after April 4. And that is not fault of the government. That is your life. Okay? So I'm not proud of it, just to, just to, to make it clear. <laughs> I mean, whoever sitting there, can't see Biden pa yan, or because of Trump pa yan, I really don't care. I can't survive without them, without the government. Okay, so yeah, being rich is having money, being wealthy is having time. So that's the difference. A lot of rich people, businessmen, they have a lot of money. They are rich, okay, but they don't have time for their family. They don't have time for themselves. Their, their, their time is dedicated to run. Hindi ka malang nagre-reply, kanina ka pa inaano eh. Wait lang. Ate Mitch, pamute mo. Okay. okay. So, yeah. That's the difference of the two. Yung question, you want to be 
wealthy or rich. So if you answer rich, of course, you will be have paying a lot of money. So that's given. You are filthy rich. Okay. But you have to select that you want to be or Christmas gusto yung maging wealthy. So you have all the time in this world. Don't need for you to go to work eight to five. You can do a lot of things. So a lot of people are asking me, Oscar, how do you do that? Uh, you have four jobs, pero lagi kang nasa mundo. <laughs> I mean, lagi kang nasa bakasyon. <laughs> I mean, lagi kang nagsisiwig. <laughs> And the next, parang may kakambal ako. <laughs> then, but because I, I am wealthy. Okay, so, I, I mean, you have to manage your time efficiently, but make sure that you can survive years without you uh, working. Okay, so I hope that you learned something. And then, sabi nyo, uh, Oscar, ano yung time frame mo to make 100 millionaires? Yung vision mo. So I have that in mind in 10 years. Okay, so meaning I have to create the 10 millionaires per uh, per year to make that happen. Okay, so I have to, pa- kailangan ko bilis na mabilis para uh, matapos ako in 20, uh, 30. Okay, kasi set ko lang ng goal na last, uh, last year. No boring ako sa, sa, sa isip. So nothing is impossible. This is my uh, Audrey Hepburn. Uh, nothing is impossible. The word itself is I am uh, saying I am possible. Okay, so sabihin nyo, uh, siguro may ako na ito si Sir, kaya ganun siya magsalita. Uh, parang uh, wala siyang pakialam sa, sa may hihirap. <laughs> And so, so uh, hindi po totoo yun. <laughs> Those... Uh- Those ideas uh, and those uh, sharings is based on my experience. So all of us are living on earth. So we have the same opportunity. We have the same surrounding. Uh, I was born uh, sa Tabing Riles. I grew up there. Ano ba yung linya ng Miss Universe? So the life there is very poor. Uh, I mean, I grew up in poverty. That's why next to be kapako to to get out of that kind of life and i know uh, i need to to give back okay that's why that's why i'm i'm coaching a lot of people okay so to make that happen so thank you namaste sir oscar velasco ayan Sobra, napaisip tuloy ako. Sir Oscar, sagutin mo na ako ngayon. Kasama ba ako sa 100 millionaires o sa guinea pigs? Kasama ko dun sa 100 millionaires. Si Bulele ba yan? Yay! Thank you! Binuko ko siya. Ito, kasama po ako sa isa sa mini-mentor ni Sir Oscar sa stock market and currently ang ginagawa po namin is sa cryptocurrency. Isa rin po ako sa pinayaman ng dito. <laughs> Binuboko ko po yung sarili ko pero truly sana may natutunan po kayo at sana na-encourage po kayo mag-invest sa stock market. Okay. Pa-stop share po Sir Oscar. So I can share our slide na. Thank you, Sir Oscar. Meron kayong mga tanong. Wina-welcome pa rin po namin yung mga tanong kahit medyo limited na po yung time natin. Anong mga naisip ninyo? Ako naisip ko, i-delete ko na yung Lazada and Shopee. Ikaw, partner Alvin. Ako may tanong ate. Okay, go ahead, Kitty. Paano mag-register sa COL? Kasi narinig ko niyan sa company namin. Yes po. I already chatted the website of Paul Financial, so you may visit uh, online. The registration is online din po. Magkano po yung first na fund na kailangan namin ng iyan? Sir? Sir? 
1,000 pesos po yung initial fund na required and then we can adapt, uh, let's say every month to our, to our earning, uh, you can adapt every month, let's say, depends on your budget. But the minimum is 1,000. Okay, sir. Tapos po, uh, one question pa po. Paano po kami matututo nung pag-COL? Mayroon po bang, um, may mga trainings po ba yun? Diba sir, trading yun? Hello, Kitty. Naririnig mo ako? Okay, I lost my connection. Uh, pardon, please. <laughs> Oo, oh, ate. Ayan na si Sir Oscar. Ah, uh, yes. It's clear. Uh, the loss of connection ko. So, may tanong Sir Oscar. Sabi, paano? Uh, how can you learn to trade uh -huh. uh, stock market? So, you need You need to read a lot. You need to watch uh, tutorials uh, so, so you do so highly and a lot of studying. So just a tip. So if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. So to make that happen. So if you've never done uh, study, reading a lot, so you have to do it for you to, to gain your first, to earn your first million. Sir? Thank yes. you, sir. Sir, ako naman po magtatanong. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, Brian. Sir, ano po ba yung Bitcoin, sir? Kasi po, uh, trader e trader expert po ba yan? May uh, mga lumalabas kasi sa, ano, sa mga social media na ano, na mga trader expert daw, Bitcoin. Uh, there's Ayan, a lot of scam uh, regarding sa investment sa stock market as well as sa Bitcoin. So maybe uh, the organizer can create an FB group for this batch. So I can send links, mga reliable links, uh, uh, resources, uh, para hindi kayo may scam ng kung sino-sino. Pero sir, paano po mawawala yan, sir? Sino po ba nag-ano nun? Sino po ba nagpapalabas ng mga ganyang scammer na yan? I hope I answered the question. Hello, okay. So, sabi ni Sir Oscar, magsasend daw siya ng mga links. So, pakicheck uh, we cannot po identify. There's a lot of phishing uh, websites and a lot of people doing nasty things in the internet. So, we cannot uh, uh, filter out. But uh, I can I can share you yung mga guaranteed, uh, the legit the platforms where you can trade. Like sa stock market, that's... Nagtuturo po kayo mag-trade? Hello po? Pwede po magtanong? Yan. Okay, so that, that, that one is all financial, that is a legit one. Uh, uh, legit one. Uh, sa, sa Pilipinas. And then abroad, sa so Bitcoin, uh, I can share it naman sa, sa link na lang pa. Madaming same mga tutorials and the likes, so I can share it na lang. So guys, paki-check na lang po yung mga isesend ni Sir Oscar na link para po malaman ninyo kagaya ng sinabi niya, sa kagaya ng sinabi niya kung gusto niyo ng millions or kung gusto niyo matutunan ng isang bagay, lahat po ay dapat nating pag-aralan. Marami pong groups at saka mga gurus din sa YouTube na pwede niyo pong panoorin. Nagsasuggest po sila doon ng mga kung sa stock market, nagsasuggest po sila doon ng mga magandang 
mga companies na bilhin or ng stocks na bilhin at saka nagbibigay po sila doon ng mga advisory po. Okay? So, let's proceed to the na medyo extended na tayo. So, on behalf of Trimex Colleges and College of Engineering, we would like to present the certification, a uh, certificate of appreciation to Mr. Oscar Velasco in recognition for his valuable insights and knowledge imparted to the students of Trimex Colleges during the webinar entitled Millennials and Financial Literacy, Understanding for Better Living, given this 28th day of March 2021, signed by the SCOPE's president, Rocher Ann Reyes, Engineering Department Head, Engineer Kirvin de Mesa, and Vice President for Academic Affairs and Student Services, Dr. Rito Camigla Jr. Thank you, Sir Oscar. Marami kang na-inspire na ramdaman ko. <laughs> thank you, Sir Oscar. Okay, uh, Sir Oscar, thank you, thank, well. you thank, you thank you po. Thank you, Sir. Lahat po ng um, inyo pong email ay nasa amin po. So kung hindi po niyo nyo makita yung link dito, isesend po namin lahat sa email niyo. Tama, Sir Oscar? Uh, yes, if possible, uh, FB group na lang po hindi mayroong mag-send mag ng email. Uh, tama po. Uh, yung willing lang naman. Okay po. So dahil medyo nag-extend na po tayo ng... I'm, we would like to announce na yung raffle draw po natin ay gaganapin na lang po sa scopes, uh, G, uh, sa scopes page ng Facebook para po sa live draw. Okay? And then malalaman naman po ninyo kung ano po yung mga prices at kung sino po yung mga nanalo. Nasaan yung mouse ko? Ayan po. So, I guess this ends our seminar po, um, Sir Kiel. Yes, um, Sir Kiel. Okay, so um, again, once again, thank you so much for participating participating in this particular webinar and our time is very limited and our topic is very interesting but nevertheless all the questions and other um, important concerns will be addressed also through the event organizers and even through the help of our resource speakers so thank you very much on behalf of the Trimix colleges the Faculty of Engineering, to our guests, and to our officers, and those who enrolled for Seminars and Field Trip. Um, thank you very much for participating in this particular event. And may we all actually able to learn something new from today's event, and hopefully it will be a helpful tool for us to save more so that we have a better living sooner or later so much and have, have a great day to all of you so bye for now and see you by our next webinar thank you sir thank you po sir thank you po thank you po thank you po, thank you po sir thank you sir kiel wag niyo pong kalilimutan mag sign po ng thank you po thank you po sir yeah paano sa mga sa mga estudyante ko yung po. exam exam ng next week
Thank you po and please isasend po namin yung post webinar survey, paki-submit, paki-sagutan po and then in exchange ibibigay po namin yung e-certificates po ninyo. Thank you. Salamat po. Salamat po. Thank you po. Thank you po sa lahat ng mga mamamayan. Salamat po sa lahat ng mga mamamayan at sa mga bisita po namin. Thank you guys and congratulations!